Hello everyone, my name is Rene Moretti and I am an MH2 class and today I will be speaking about the Revolver album by the Beatles. I will be discussing techniques, instrumentation, lyrics, and how they influence pop music today. Um, I believe that Revolver was one of the most influential and advanced albums ever cr uh, created in their era. The Beatles were very talented. They were growing with their talent. And when they came out with Revolver, it totally set them apart of all the music that was out in that time. Uh, I believe uh, their recording techniques were way advanced. They uh, used a lot of dubbing. They would uh, record a guitar take and then dub that guitar take, change the EQ around to make it brighter. They, uh, they also used many techniques with dubbing to enhance uh, instruments to give them unique sounds and um, also for their vocals they also did a lot of dubbing on vocals which it totally sent a new set a new trend for uh mixing engineer this is a uh, short example of uh taxman in the revolver album Uh, the Beatles also use exotic instruments like the sitar, which the sitar is like a Mediterranean type of instrument, and it gave you uh, a calm feel when you listen to their music, uh, and uh, it just gives you a, a self of like a, a feeling that you're just home and you you were in another place you know on top of just listening to their music you also felt like you you were you were escaping through their music which the sitar is a, a very calm instrument to play and it keeps you relaxed this song is called love you too and this is a perfect example of an exotic instrument you hear the sitar in the beginning playing The Beatles and their lyrical content, they uh, definitely raised the bar with uh, with uh, Revolver, especially with the intro song Tax Van, which talks about you know everyday life and how the government taxes your paychecks, and you know they they were upset because after they made all their money, they thought they were gonna keep all that money, but they didn't. Uncle Sam came by and took a big slice of their pizza. And um, every song before Revolver, it was all about love and romance. And this time with Revolver, there were more mature themes, more mature lyrics. Uh, so that totally set them apart from what was out there around that time. I believe the Beatles and their album Revolver, they uh, definitely influenced many many aspects of music around the world not just pop music it's hip-hop R&B all these types of music because they use a lot of weird sounds they reversed sounds they um they they did a lot of weird stuff to their music you know adding orchestra and uh, I believe a lot of people were influenced by their music when they were using loops when they were uh, sampling other sounds and incorporating it in their music and you know, Timberland is a is a is a perfect example. If you hear some of his music, he he samples monkeys and all these other weird types of sounds, and it doesn't end there. There's many 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 producers now that do the same, and I'm pretty sure it all came because of history, because of Revolver. Thank you, everyone. This is my podcast, uh, The Beatles Revolver, and have a good night. Rene Moretti.